What's going on, Facebook? What's going on, YouTube and the rest of the social media? This is Kevin at Kevin's Corner. And, you know, I just got something on my mind right now that just, it just got my feathers ruffled. Um, I don't know if you out there ever been a part of a team or even those that have a household, a family that you're raising. There's nothing worse than you to be playing for your team or trying to protect and take care of your family. And there's somebody in the family in the family just messing stuff up, just counterproductive, just fighting you. And you going, don't you realize that as a family or as a team, we need to stick together so we can win. And today I'm looking at President Trump over in Asia trying to uh, help America develop better trade policies that's going to benefit Americans, also help unite all of the Asian countries to help out with the nuclearizing North Korea. And while he's out there fighting on behalf of the country, you got these dumb Democrats, dumb liberal media back here doing everything they can to destroy him from the inside out. And I'm going, you know what? Y'all might as well be playing for the other squad. Y'all might as well be playing for the enemy, especially when you know deep down inside that the stuff that they're trying to do to him is nothing but a result of losing the election and wanting to get back into power being upset and embarrassed that they lost and lost by someone that they never anticipated they would lose by and then he's been putting them to shame uh since then and yet they are developing undermined techniques and tactics to keep drama going pushing this russia narrative bringing a special counsel in to go chase down people who are irrelevant when it came to Donald Trump's win and trying to pin this stupid Russian theory and hoax on him to justify their loss. And I'm going, you know what? You guys are not thinking about the betterment of the American people. You're so busy trying to play partisan politics and get back into power and save face that you're willing to really be like a mole inside of America. I'm going, the president got enough on his hands and on his shoulders than to have to deal with the knucklehead media trying to always find anything to point the finger and not the thumb. Deal with the, the peanut head Democrats who want to sit on the wheel and not assist in anything, do nothing but complain and obstruct and come up with false theories and push all this negativity in the media. Um, and what really makes me mad is that you have overwhelming evidence of true corruption, true crimes committed on the other side, and it's nothing being done about it thus far. And I'm saying, you know what? It's not even about the president going after his enemies and all of that stuff. It's about doing what's right. And if America and the Democrats and the liberal media and all the snowflakes and anti-Trumpers running around really want to see America prosper, They'll get behind the president, stop whining, take the loss. Just realize, you know what? This is our president. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And when the offense coordinator left, Ben Roethlisberger was upset the first year. He was a powder. They brought in a new offensive coordinator. And these two bumped heads for a while. But at some point, Ben had to realize that, hey, the guy's here now. I got to work with him. And they developed a good working relationship. And so for Americans out there, there's just... I don't care. He ain't my president and doing everything they can to continue drama, continue stirring up trouble, continue obstructing all of these things. Stop. It's over, y'all. He won. Get on the squad. Get behind him because if he fails, we all fail. And people don't even realize that. And it's blowing my mind. It just made me think I'm going, man, this guy is overseas trying to work out serious problems. See, these are serious issues. Denuclearizing North Korea is a serious issue. It's not something stupid and made up like Russia. You know, th this is big stuff. He has a lot that he has to deal with, whether you voted for him or not. It is what it is. And by just doing everything you can to disrupt it, you're adding one more problem. And these are the type of things that can lead to the total destruction of our country if y'all keep trying to infiltrate and destroy him from the inside out. It's like he's fighting two enemies. He's fighting the enemy inside of America and then the enemy outside of America. And so, you know, I just thought about it and I was like, man, if I was the president, I would feel like, good grief, I'm out there on behalf of the American people 
which includes the knucklehead liberal media, which also includes the peanut head Democrats, which also include all the whiny snowflakes in America who don't appreciate the safety that the president's trying to provide, don't appreciate the jobs that he's trying to bring back here to the United States, don't appreciate none of the things he's doing, don't appreciate the fact that he's stepping it up for the veterans, he's supporting our military, our police, the economy, all of these things he's doing, all these snowflakes running around as if he done came president and just start sending people inside of people's houses, dragging them out in the streets, beating them. Uh, and that's not even happening. And yet they're still out there going, not nah, my president, you can't believe. Whatever happened to the go outside and scream up at the sky? Did that happen? I don't know. I mean, what did the sky ever do to y'all anyway? But nonetheless, stop. Stop. Just take the loss, man. It's over. Get on the squad, all right? Because if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. So that's a message to all the snowflakes, Democrats, and liberal media. I mean, like him or not, he's the president. He got enough on his hands than to also be dealing with y'all, pushing false narratives, creating fake storylines, doing everything y'all can to misquote him, to infer all kind of garbage. When he said that the press, uh, the fake news is the enemy of the people, what he's really talking about is when you mislead the people, when you create false narratives, when you are constantly trying to destroy the president, what you're doing is you're really dividing the country. And in that case, you're not looking out for the people. And in my opinion, you are an enemy of the people. If you're not giving good, accurate, non-biased news, you are a deceiver. You're getting up there and you're pushing, you're pushing propaganda, fake news. And people who aren't smart enough to catch it are victims of it. And therefore, you become an enemy of the people. And so my opinion, if you want to develop any type of credibility and dignity when it comes to the Democratic Party who got enough problems, don't have a message, don't have a leader, got tons of corruption is being revealed. Y'all need to stop focusing on Trump and focus on yourselves. Y'all need to clean up the inside of y'all own crib. Y'all crib got dirty laundries hanging out on in the backyard, roaches, rats, no screen door all of that stuff and you going next door criticizing your neighbor's house y'all need to say man let's get a paint job going throw up a roof because it's leaking you know y'all stuff is about to collapse and yet y'all out there trying to destroy trump and the republican uh, agenda and i'm going to check your own self and the bootleg sorry liberal media definitely need to check themselves they never ever reply to all of the hidden video footage to show how they really feel, the things that go on behind the scenes. Oh, people got a right to their own opinion. That's their only uh, response. Can you respond to the fact that you've been exposed to be fake news? Can you say, hey, guys, I'm sorry, man. We've been biased. We've been in Hillary's camp. We've been pushing propaganda. We're going to try to do better. We're going to go ahead and change it up. Uh, or we just going to straight come out and confess that what we are is a propaganda machine and a tool of the Democratic and Liberal Party. I mean, I would respect that. A little bit better than you talking about we're non-biased you know, we're just saying the truth this is an apple yeah, and I don't care if anybody says it's an orange I'm like man get out of here with that mess you know so anyway moving forward think about that before you try to trash the president think about all the serious issues that he got to deal with versus these hoaxes and I'm gonna be real mad and everybody else should be real mad when all of this garbage blows away about this false Russia narrative and when it blows away, then y'all going to be sitting back scratching your head trying to explain why you just wasted a whole year of time and tax dollars for nothing. And y'all already know it's nothing. But y'all just going to drag it out to the very end. It's like an ongoing movie. You're like, just let the movie in. I already know what's going to happen. Y'all, it ain't even a good plot. It's not even a good thing. There's no drama in this. I'm going, everybody knows there's no collusion Y'all just dragging it out, letting the credits roll. Let the movie end, please. And give me my money back, okay? Because the show sucked. I want my money back, Democrats. Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is Kev, Kev's Corner. You know what to do. Hit like or subscribe. I'm sorry. Uh, I had to make this video while I was on my mind. I'm under the moonlight here. Uh, and the salsa music in the background. Every once in a while, I get my salsa on. So, hey, you can't say that I'm a racist because I love my Latino brothers and sisters, mamacita.
Okay? You know what I'm saying? Like I still got a couple moves left, okay? Anyway, uh, hit like, check out the stuff in the bottom, the uh, links. You know, I, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, and I got some t-shirts too. All right? Anyway, God bless. God bless America. Peace.